guess uh, one last thing you might want to look for when you look for a computer is the optical drive. By optical drive, we mean what kind of discs does it write to? Like a CD, DVD, that sort of thing. Now, most, all of them, in fact, all of them will both play CDs for audio and sometimes for software, right? If you buy software, it comes on the CD. And DVDs, so movies, if you want to watch a movie on your computer, uh, and sometimes software comes on DVDs as well. Now, generally, you have a choice between one that only burns CDs, so it can only write to CDs, and one that'll write both CDs and DVDs. So for example, if you want to make a mixed CD, right? if you want to use a program like iTunes, I will actually show you how to do this a little bit later, but say you want to make a greatest hits of your life, right? your favorite songs from all your favorite records, you want to cherry pick the ones that you like and throw them all on one master CD. Right? To do that, all you need is a CD burner. And I think most, if not all, the computers that we have have CD burners nowadays, which is great. Now, say you are like this gentleman, you want to maybe edit home movies or events uh, using video editing software. In that case, you might want to write it to a DVD, right, and hand those out. So say you go to a wedding and film the wedding, right? You can burn 15 copies on a DVD and hand them out, you know, to friends and family. It's, it's great for Christmas presents and stuff like that, too. And then they can take that home, put that in their home DVD player on their TV, or put that into their computer, and then they would be able to watch that, too. So even people who aren't computer savvy like you will be, <clears throat> will be able to take these DVDs, just pop them in, you know, sit down on the couch and enjoy it. So it's very cool. Questions? What about burning uh, an LP? I've got a lot of LPs <laughs> yeah. yesterday uh, onto a CD. That, that's a hairy uh, subject. Because it's, it's, yeah, it's a little tricky. Unfortunately, because you're taking a what's called an analog uh, medium um, and converting that to a digital format, it actually has to undergo that conversion process. Um, taking music off a CD, which is already a digital format, is very easy. Um, but to do it from an LP, um, you would need basically a little analog to digital converter, something to take that, that sound in and convert that for you. Now, it can be done. It's not very difficult. It's just time consuming. Right. Aren't there actually pieces of equipment now where you can take your old LPs, put it on that, they plug into your computer, and it does it automatically? There, there are some. Um, they're they're not flawless, and they're they're kind of specialized. They're hard to find, but they do exist. Yes. And, and they're also costly. Just a downside. I mean, really, the difference between bringing uh, CD audio is that with CD audio, you don't have to do it in real time, right? The CD can have an hour of music, and you can bring that in within four or five minutes, right? Unfortunately, with the LP, unless you have very specialized equipment, you got to sit through the whole LP just to bring it. Got to play the whole, play through the whole thing and basically re-record it on the computer. So, yeah. so if you do one of these with the music in the background, so far, does the person that you give this uh, DVD to have to have special equipment to, nope. to hear any of it? No, no, not at all. You uh, basically you would if your computer has that DVD burner, um, you would just take the the project that you you edited on your computer, burn that onto the DVD. And then that DVD will be readable in anybody else's DVD player. It's like you're, no, you're no producer, right? You so you're sitting in the producer's chair. Uh, you're making a final product, and when you're done, your vision will go on the DVD, and they'll pop it in just like they got a, a store bought DVD. It's like they went to Best Buy and then bought it from the shelf, right? I mean, it's it's your project, so it's it's nothing special. It's actually very cool. <laughs> Is it HD that's coming out, but it has to, it, not everybody can use it. Yeah, we can spend a minute on them. There are two formats, it's HD DVD um, and Blu-ray, uh, which are basically two different names for a very similar type of technology. They're both for this high definition video, that's what HD is, high definition. Um, and basically, it's the idea of a normal DVD only will display things so clearly, so crisply, because it can only fit so much information on that single disc. Um, an HD DVD um, holds a lot more information, so they can make it look a lot clearer, a lot sharper, um, that sort of thing. And these two formats, this HD, DVD, and Blu-ray, um, are basically different way, different, two different companies came up with different ways of writing that information on the disc. Um, so it's, it's sort of like the difference between, um, this may make sense to some of you, and it's not so much sense to others, um, when DVDs first came out, um, started kind of taking over from VHS, um, there were DVD minus R and DVD plus R, or even further back when VHS was new, there was VHS and Betamax. Um, there were two different formats there. And so it's the same thing here. Every every time they come up with a new format, they create two different standards for it, and everybody has to fight it out for which one they're going to use. 
Um, and it's, it's pretty early to decide which way is going to win on that one. I think because you order, we can order a lot of these things online now, and you need to be careful if it says HD or right, um, right. I mean, a lot of a lot of computers, a lot of uh, players right now, they won't read those HD right. discs. So uh, right now, DVD is still the standard. What's the difference between R and RW CDs when you go to buy them? RW is rewritable. R is just writable. You can write it once and you're done. Rewritable, you can write it and then erase it and write it again and erase it and write it again. It's over and over.